We do not sell our horses. We are in a position to pay well. All the money in the world could not tempt us to part with a single one. Gentlemen, for countless ages, the horse has been held sacred by my people. You mean you worship horses? They are all sacred. We worship but one, the black Arabian stallion. A black Arabian? Do you doubt me? I can hardly blame you. There is no horse in the world like him. Come, you will see for yourself. Please. Do you understand now why we worship him of all horses? He's like a king. He is a king. The living symbol of the horse god of Sujan. to always leave him unguarded in this manner? Night and day, he's under the constant vigilance of the sacred guard. I shall be honored to have you remain as our guest. Thanks. But our ship is waiting. May I provide you with an escort for the jungle? That will not be necessary. It's only a short distance. If we can get that black Arabian stallion, it'll mean a fortune for us. We'd never be able to get away with it, with all those guards on the job. They'd skin us alive if they caught us. We'll get Martin to help us. He'd do anything for a hundred bucks. There's the guard. Get ready.
take his place while we tie him up. Take care of this fellow. Wheeler and I'll get the horse. Look out! That back stallion is loco. Get your horse. He's after it. What are you going to do? Clerk will run and rhyme over this loop. I'll snag him. The partners, they have stolen the guard horse. And was nearby. His friends escaped. Your sacred majesty, I had nothing to do with it. You have invaded sacred ground. Punishment for this is death. But I tell you, I am innocent. I tried to stop them. That's the reason they left me lying there in the jungle. They tried to kill me as I fought for your god horse. Oh, let me live. I'll bring them back. I swear it. If the royal guards fail to capture the thieves, I will give you a chance to earn your liberty. Another hundred bucks for you as soon as I get the horse on shore. Kind of tough on Wheeler having to leave him behind with all those natives. That's his hard luck. Maybe we'll pick him up on the next trip. <laughs> Are you sure you can get that black stallion off this boat without any trouble? Absolutely. When Crawford hears of this wonderful horse, he'll be down on the trailer and nothing flat. You shouldn't have left Wheeler on that island. He's liable to make trouble for us. Don't worry. He'll never leave that island. Bet you never saw a horse like that before. He's a nice horse, all right. I'll use him in a few polo games, and then I'll groom him for the big show. It'll be quite a job getting a saddle on him. Never saw a horse yet I couldn't handle. Say, hey, he's a beauty, boss. Some horse, eh? Yeah, be careful of him now. He's pretty ornery. That whip. 
Well, he might have been king in Fujian, but I'll teach him who's boss around here. Be careful now. He's faster than chain lightning. Officer, the jurors going to duck up this alley. There's an officer at the corner, phoning headquarters. Tell him to watch the entrance of this alley till I get back, will you? Sure. Hello, boy. All right, now, all right. No one's going to hurt you. Say, you're going to help me fool those cops, boy. Oh, 
can't help. There it is. That's it, all right. All right, smart guy. The next time you want to play blind man, be sure you're smarter than the dog. Come on. Organize the girls' polo team. I think it'd be quite a novelty for the riding academy. What do you think of it, Frank? She's been pestering me for weeks about it. Well, I think it's a swell idea, Mr. Bruce. Dorothy plays a much better game than some men I know. <laughs> I might have expected that from you. All right, honey. You win. But I still think it's too rough a game for girls. <laughs> Where'd that dog come from? I never saw him around here before. Well, Jensen doesn't hurry to get back here. He'll find his lunch is gone. <laughs> here, boy. Well, you're not afraid of me, are you, old boy? Oh, nobody's going to hurt you. Oh, it's food you want, is it? Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Poor dear, you must be starved. There goes Jensen's lunch. <laughs> well, I'll see you and Dorothy right after the first chucker. Right. Hurry, honey. You don't want to miss the start of the game. Hi, Dad. Coming. Here. Help yourself. I don't think Catch you around here again, I'll break your neck. Keep your shirt on, old man. He's only trying to help you. Maybe he thinks you need another player. I'd have made that goal if he hadn't stopped the ball. Oh, forget it. We'll give you the goal. <laughs> Why, you idiot. Why don't you watch where you're going? That's your dog? Yes, but please, Mr. Crawford. He's a good dog, and he won't do it anymore. You bet he won't. And if I see him around there again, I'll have him shot. You better go. That Mr. Crawford's a bad fella. And he might shoot you, just like he said.
say. When it comes to polo, Bradley can play rings around Crawford. You almost think it's mealtime. Where's Crawford? Going to town. What's up? I've located that black stallion. You have? Where is he? I tried to get a rope on him, and he ducked in that abandoned mine. Get your horses. That's a good place to track it. up on foot. That black stand is good the mine will get him. How are we going to get him? Get some wood for a fire. We'll smoke him out.
You'd better take it easy. We'll get the horse. The mine's caved in. You've got to save that horse. I guess that's the end of the Black Stallion, Mitchell. Yeah, he's buried under the mountain of bird. Fortunate horse flesh, buried alive. Well, anyway, we didn't have to dig a grave for him. We better get you back to the ranch and call a doctor. Oh, I'm all right. We better make sure about that horse. Crawford will throw a fit if he finds out we didn't. Don't be crazy. It'll take a steam shovel to get him out of there. Good morning, Mr. Bradley. Good morning, Captain. Where's Miss Dorothy? Miss Dorothy? Well, that strange dog come over here and she followed him off. How long ago was that? Oh, it was about, uh... Hey, look. Why, that's her horse. Something must have happened to her. I'm going to try and find her. What is it, Roy? news for you, boss. They located the Black Stallion at the old mine. They're out after him now. Great. When that horse is broken to the saddle, it'll be worth a fortune. You got that box stall reinforced so he won't get away again? Sure. Here they come now. I don't see the Black Stallion. So you let that stallion get away from you again, eh? We had him cornered in that abandoned mine, Mr. Crawford, when the whole mountain caved in on us. What? You mean he was killed? Couldn't you save him? There's no use. Besides, we had to get Mitchell back to the doctor. What happened to you? Some big wolf dog nearly killed me when I tried to get to that horse. All right, get him in the house and call the doctor. I'd have given every polo pony I owned to have that horse in my stable. Dorothy! 
mercy. What happened? I was worried about you. That beautiful horse was trapped in that old mine. Why, he might have died if the dog hadn't brought me to him. He is a beauty, isn't he? I never saw him around here before. I wonder who owns it. Whoever it is is taking a chance leaving him on the range like this. We better get back to the academy before your father starts worrying about you. Hey, you sure made a hit with them. They're following you. Hey, go on back there. Your owner will be looking for you. Then why can't we take them back to the academy until her owner shows up? Oh, better not. If we leave him alone, why, he'll find his way home. <laughs> there, old man. What are you doing here? Well, I told you to go on home. <laughs> Look, Frank. There's that black horse again. Dad, come on out here quick. Here's the horse we were telling you about. Hey, that is a beautiful animal. He looks like a thoroughbred, doesn't he? Well, if he weren't coal black, I would say he was a full-blooded Arabian. I wish we could keep him, Dad. Well, at least we can give him a home until uh, we find his owner. What a polo horse he'd make. Would I like to be the one to train him? Maybe you'll get your chance if nobody claims him. Come on. Take it easy, big boy. You'll have to get used to this saddle if you're going to be a great polo pony. That horse has plenty of spirit. He isn't going to be so easy to break. If anybody can handle him, Frank can. Frank can hold him. Climbing into me like you meant it. He's got to get used to riding off if he's going to be a good polo horse.
he working? Well, I think I'll give him his first chance tomorrow. You mean you're going to use him in the game against Crawford's team? Oh, I'll start him in one of the early chuckers, just to get him used to group riding. But it's marvelous the way you've trained him in such a short time. So wouldn't it be awful if someone uh, showed up now and claimed him? <laughs> they sure have to prove their ownership before I give him up. Bill of sales, pedigree, and what have you. <laughs> he won't give up that horse without a bona fide bill of sale. I heard him say so. After bringing that horse all the way from Sujan, I don't mean to have Bradley or anyone else take him from me. Are you sure he's going to play at the game tomorrow? Absolutely. Well, I'll get that horse and without a bill of sale. You'd better keep out of sight. If they see us together, they'll suspect that I'm trying to help you get the horse back to Sujan. And my people will pay you well once I got horses returned to the island. And without a horse safely in my stable, it'll be hard for anybody to prove he doesn't belong to me. I could. Wheeler. Kind of surprised to see me, huh? Why, Mitchell said you were dead. Why, yes. After that black stallion finished trampling on you, I thought sure you were dead. I don't blame you. I thought I wasn't going away still. Why, we never would have gone away and left you. You don't think I'd double-cross you and leave you alone on that island with all those natives? Well, I'm here now. How about my cut for helping you to get that horse? Well, the horse got away from us. But we're planning to grab him tomorrow during a polo game. Meaning what? Well, as soon as I get the horse, you boys will get the dough. But you've got to help me get him. What's the setup? Sit down. There's a polo game at Bruce Field tomorrow. Crawford's using rough tactics again. step in the next chucker, Frank will be riding that black stallion. Hello, fellow. Here's where we show them how a real polo horse works. Wait a minute, young fella. Your friend's out there playing this, Tucker. He'll be here in a minute. Come on. Give him a good rub down. He certainly earned it. Poor young fella, go get the chamois.
Take care of Bradley. to take care of Bradley.
going to find her. You ought to be ruled out of the game. Sorry, old man. It hurt badly? My knee. I think it's rent. I just couldn't hold that pony back. Oh, that's all right. Think you can finish the game? I don't think I better risk it. Thanks, old man. I can make it from here. Bradley sure was lucky to get out of that cell alive. He might not be so lucky the next time. You better get out of here. Mr. Bradley. Great playing, Frank. I thought you were done for, though, when you took that spill. It's just part of the game. Mr. Bradley, Mr. Bradley. They've taken Rex. What? They've stolen him? Who are they? Which way did they go? Well, I didn't see them, but Rennie went out that way. Saddle a fresh horse. Don't worry, Dorothy. I'll follow Rennie. He's bound to pick up their trail. Hey! Where are you going? This ain't the road to Crawford's. What makes you think I'm turning this horse over to Crawford? What are you aiming at? Double-crossing the boss? I'd be a fool to let Crawford have this horse when I can make a fortune taking him back to Sujan where he belongs. You can't get away with that, Wheeler. No? Who's going to stop me? I will. Hudson! Susan! Did you kill him? No. I am at his wrist to keep him from shooting. He will be unconscious for a little while. That is all. Oh. We do not dare risk taking a gun horse to the ducks in broad daylight. Here's too many enemies in this country. There's an old bar down the road a ways. We can hide him there till it's dark. Oh! <laughs> 
I think I'm looking for him in here. I'll go on to the shipping office and make arrangements for transportation to Susan. What, and leave me here alone with him? It is nothing to fear. He knows you are my friend. Have you seen any of the bricks? Okay, Rennie, I knew you wouldn't fail me. Where's Rita and Jones? Haven't they brought that sign in yet? They haven't come back yet, boss. Should have been here long before this. wonder what could have happened. There's Jones now. Hop on, fellas. Where's the horse? Wheeler's double caution you. He's going to take the horse back to Sir John. Why, you fool, why didn't you stop him? I was getting the best of him. Till this dark knocked me cold. It's the blowgun dog. The natives will come for their god horse. We'll all be killed. I don't care if the whole island comes over. That black stallion's worth a fortune, and I don't mean to lose them. Which way were they headed? They were going to keep the horse in the abandoned barn until dark, before taking him to the boat. Get in the car and go after him. I'll teach Willie to double cross me. Not you, McDonald. where they're hiding, Rex. Here, Rennie. Here, Rennie. Here. You better find out how many there are in there before rescuing your pal. Don't 
Here, Rennie. Keep an eye on him, boy. If he starts to yell, you know what to do. trying to steal you, old boy. You sure are a beauty. I'll have you out of here in a minute. He's there, all right. We'll leave the car here and sneak up and surprise him. Better separate. Anderson, you and Martin circle around and sneak up on the other side. Someone coming, huh? Better duck into that corner, Randy, and hide. Maybe some gunplay. Got you covered. What'd you do with Wheeler? Search me. I just came to get my horse. Your horse? That's a good one. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> you have the black stallion, all right, and ready to roll. Anderson, take that trailer over the ranch. We'll follow in the car. Get going.
to get that horse. He's worth a fortune. No, it's too late. It's going to cave in any minute. Don't you? If he goes in that barn, he's a goner. He can't make any time with that trailer. We can overtake him in our car. All right. Frank finally just drove away with him in a trailer. But Crawford's men are hot on his trail. Get these ropes off of me, will you? Why are these people so eager to capture the second horse of Suzanne? <laughs> you can hardly blame them. He's the only black Arabian in the world. He's worth a fortune. Go by, we'll cut across country and give them the slip. What is it, boy? Yes, You're just the man I want to see. What's the matter? You want to go facing too? <laughs> no. The men are trying to steal Rex. But I think we can trick them. Get your horse and bring him up the trailer right away. Come on, Randy. Saddle and bridle off and work fast. What are you going to do, Mr. Bradley? We'll swap horses and get them to chase me. And you and Rennie take Rex back to the riding academy. Oh. There isn't a sign of him for miles. He must have ducked off the road. We better turn back. As soon as you see me, lead them off the trail. You and Ernie take Rex back to the riding academy as fast as you can. I'll get going.
Mr. Bradley sure is a smart man. They fell for that trick just like he said they would. Wait a minute. I believe I got a fish. Alika! You sure got the Indian sign on that horse. Want me to take care of that dog? No. He's a friend of the guy horse. We must find a place to hide until nightfall. There's an old mine at the base of that hill. You take the horse there and you'll be safe. I'll ride into town and get a truck, a covered one, so we can drive the horse down to the boat without being discovered. Good. I will wait at the mine. All right. Alika! Get away with this horse. Yeah. He's mine. That's what you think. Fly him out. Get in that car and follow close behind. We're not taking any chances. You'll be sorry for this. Ah, oh, go take a walk here, sir. Naga must hide the sacred horse, the living symbol of our God. Now he says, and soon will be returned to Suzanne. There is no peace on the island until the God horse returns. Guard him with your life, O Pasha. Crawford. We got the horse. Get a couple of ropes. Yeah. We don't want to let him get away this time. Good work, Mitchell. Be careful now. He's a killer. 
Why, you fool? That's not the horse. Bradley's tricked you again. That's the horse that Bradley was getting away with. Yeah, while well, someone else was taking the Black Stallion back to the riding academy. Well, I'll settle with that smart guy. Wait a minute. Strong arm stuff won't get you anywhere. He'll give him a taste of his own medicine and outsmart him. What are you going to do? Well, this little bill of sale makes me legal owner of the Arabian Stallion. Well, it looks real. Mm, it is real. Even if it is real, as you say it is, it won't do you any good, Crawford. The horse isn't here. That's a lie, Bradley. I happen to know that you have that horse. Look, there's Jensen now. What's happened, Jensen? Where's Ray? He's in cold water mine with a foreigner. With a foreigner? Yes, sir, and he, Rex is following him around like a kitten. Why, you'd think he was hypnotized. That foreigner might throw some light on the true ownership of Rex. I'll check into your bill of sale after I've had a talk with him, Crawford. I'll go with you. Well, you better stay here in case the horse comes back while I'm gone. What are you going to do, Frank? I'm beginning to suspect Crawford. I'm not so sure his men didn't steal Rex in the first place. It does seem strange that he hasn't claimed him before. That's why I'm sure this bill of sale is a fake. And I think that foreigner can help me prove it. Yes, cold water mine. You've got to hurry. Bradley just left. OK, boss. We'll get started right away. Martin Anderson. Get mounted. Bradley hasn't got the black stallion after all. Pass his gun in cold water mine. Have any trouble getting him to the boat net, huh? It is good. I will greet the guy horse. Take him away in that van. Wait until I get behind him with a stick. That will not be necessary. He knows we are his friends. All right. Well, come on. What are we waiting for? Keep your shirt off. It'll make it easy for us once the horse is in that truck. We'll stop him down the road away. those hands and get out. Climb in on those saddles. Get him over to Crawford. Anderson and I'll take care of the horse. All right, down through that draw. We forgot to thank him for loading the horse for us. <laughs> well, Crawford will take care of that, too.
That's a great place for a fellow to leave a truck. <laughs> it's a horse. We're in luck. It's the Black Stallion. Quick, Jones. Start that truck and don't stop till you got that horse into my Victorville ranch. I caught these men of yours stealing my horse. Your horse? Since when do you lay any claim to that black stallion? I found that horse running wild. And until the real owner shows up, he's rightfully mine. Listen, Bradley. I've got that horse and I intend to keep him. And I'm warning you to butt out of it. You're wasting your breath, Crawford. You got the Black Stallion? Sure. He's halfway to Victorville by now. What are you doing here? I fell off my horse, and I'm trying to find my way home. My dad will pay you if you take me home. You're going to stay here till I'm ready to take you home. I don't want your dad's money. Get in the closet.
quiet. Lucky to be a dog. I bet you were never going to sleep feeling hungry. Pal. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, wait a minute, Joe. Here comes a kid. He must be lost. Can you tell me the way to Montrose? Mont I've been lost for three days. Montrose? Are you Junior Hammond? Yes, sir. Well, they've been combing the mountains for you. Wait till I call headquarters. I'd like it over to Hammond's place before he does. We're going with you. Yes. I'm Frank Bradley. This is Miss Dorothy Bruce. Miss Bruce? I understand that you have a black Arabian stallion, and I have an idea that he's the one I lost. That's so. Uh, can you identify him? <coughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am to the horse and dog for bringing my boy back to me. Take you home. Come on. Yeah, it's Bradley, all right. Where should the light? He still has to take that horse to the riding academy, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he wouldn't stand much chance against four of you. I'll head back to the ranch in case. They must be Crawford's men. They're after Rex. Pull into that thicket. Is 
They're bound to overtake it, but I think we can outsmart them. Quick, Lenny, throw his hammer and keep him going. They'll think it's Rex. And while they're chasing him, we'll head for the academy. There's the horse. Where's Bradley and the girl? Never mind them. It's the horse we want. There they are. And he's riding Rex. We've got him now. They discovered the trick. You keep going, I'll try to stall them. Hurry before they get too close. He must have ducked with a wreck. Hey, we lost Anderson and Martin. Look! He'll pass this way to join the girl. Get these horses out of sight and lay low. What are you going to do? You'll see.
Bradley must have ducked with the wreck. Hey, we lost Anderson and Martin. Look! He'll pass his way to join the girl. Get these horses out of sight and lay low. What are you going to do? You'll see. Let's get a rope on him. Look out! Hold on. That's funny. He's running away from us. We can head him off below the bank. Polo training sure pulls you out of that one, old boy. Any bruises, old boy? Looks like a couple of Crawford men after you. You better get down home and I'll hold them off. the trouble. We caught this man trying to steal a black stallion that belongs to my boss. That's a lie. Crawford has no claim on him. You stole him from the riding academy in the first place. When was it? I was playing polo at the academy one day. I just turned my horse over to my stable man. Make sure you give him a good rub down. He certainly earned it. for young fella, go get the chamois.
And ever since I got the horse back, I've had trouble with these men. You men will have to come down to headquarters with me. Go on, get mounted. I don't think they'll bother you again. Thanks. done that. Oh, he'll be all right. Let's go. Wait a minute. Do you see what I see? Black Arabian stack. We're in luck. rope till I get this bridle. <laughs> Edge him over towards our horse. Wait a minute, Martin. Hello? Mr. Crawford? Yeah, Crawford, honey. I'm from Ranger headquarters. I caught your man Mitchell assaulting Frank Bradley. While I was bringing him in, he slugged me and got away. But that man doesn't work for me. I discharged him yesterday. Well, certainly, I'd be glad to hold him if he shows up. Go tell Mitchell I want to see him right away. you in the house. Well, I finally got that black stallion. Yeah, and got the law down on it. Oh, you mean about that forest ranger? That was nothing. Nothing? It'll be a wonder if we don't all land in jail. You've gone too far this time, Mitchell. You're through. Get out. Not so fast, Crawford. What about my dough for getting that horse? You're lucky that I don't turn you over to the law. Now clear out before I change my mind. Welshing, eh? You'll pay for this. Keep away from that phone. Not until I tell Bradley where he can find his horse. Hello? It's the Bruce Riding Academy, Jensen speaking. Is Bradley there? Mr. Bradley, telephone. I'll show you, you can't double cross me. Hello? Bradley? This is Mitchell. I'm down at Crawford. Put that phone down! Hello? Hello? Mitchell! There was a shot. Something's happened to Crawford. You don't think it's a trick, do you? No, I doubt it, but I'm going to find out. I'll call you as soon as I can. Ah, 
Hey, fella. I got a job for you. Come on, hurry. gun on me and I had to shoot him in self-defense. Get him out of here. What do you want us to do with him? Hide him before Bradley comes snooping around here. Take his feet, Martin. Stay here, boy. Well, hello, Bradley. I didn't hear you knock. Where's Mitchell? Mitchell? I don't know. I discharged him yesterday and I haven't seen him since. Quit acting, Crawford. Mitchell phoned me from here less than ten minutes ago. And I heard a shot. You must be mistaken, Bradley. Mitchell might have phoned you to get you away from the writing academy. What have you got there, Reddy? My bridle. What's this? Give me that bridle. I didn't think murder was in your line, Crawford. I said, give me that bridle. Get back or I'll plug you. Grab that bridle, Reddy. Take it to the academy. Must have gone up that bank.
He must have gone up that bank. You fellas get the horses. We can't let him get this boy. It's all we've got to prove that Crawford killed Mitchell. Here, take this to the academy. I'll stall them off. Hold on, Bradley, or I'll shoot. I'll trouble you for that bridle. Tie him up. Get into that saddle. You're going back with me. You fellows will never get away with this. Oh, no? Just wait till we get you to Crawford. That black stallion was stolen from the Isle of Toujon. And you have no claim on it. Possession is nine points of the law, Wheeler. And no horses in my stable. Now get out before I throw you out. Feel pretty sure of yourself, don't you? Get moving. And don't come back. Good work, man. I'll take that bridle. I'll talk to you in private. Step inside. Bradley, you're not as clever as you thought. With the wreck locked safely in my stable and this bridle destroyed, you'll have a hard time proving that I had anything to... Where's the rest of this bridle? Wouldn't you like to know? with Mitchell's message is gone. Well, I don't know. This is back there in the bushes where we picked it up. Well, go search for it. If the police get it, we're done for.
Number speaking. Number, please. You just rang me. Number, please. One, one, three, please. Bruce Riding Academy, Jensen speaking. Here comes Miss Dorothy. I'll let you speak to her. Miss Dorothy! It's Mr. Bradley, but I can't make out what he's saying. Hello, Frank. What is it? Dorothy, I just sent Rennie to the Riding Academy with a bridal rein with Mitchell's death message on it. Take it to the sheriff at once before Crawford can get hold of it. Where's Rizzy? Well, I locked him up in there. Well, go get it. I'll get it and start out at once. <coughs> Come on, Jetson, you'd better go with me. She's heading for the shirt on it. You fellas get mounted and stop her before she gets there. Uh. We might be able to head her off before she hits the main highway. Your best chance is at the detour. She has to slow up there. Get going. Listen, aren't you, Bradley? Thanks for telling me what you did with that bridal rein. Well, I, I don't know what you mean. Your girl will never get to the sheriff's office with us. You gonna tell me how you fixed up this radio? Uh, might come in handy sometime.
have you out in a minute, boy. Stallion out of there before Crawford and then know what hit them. Got the blow gun along? Sure. Look, there's Bradley. He must have escaped from Crawford. If he's the guy horse up the gun, he right. We must stop him. I'll get him as he rides by. No. The blow gun. Thought his horse silently and he will not endanger the life of the guard horse. Alika. I could handle a horse like that. It is the call of his homeland. He can never forget it. Turn here. We'll keep out of sight. He slows down. Sorry to trouble you, Miss Bruce. But we're looking for a certain bridle rein with some writing on it. We mean the one you're taking to the sheriff. Get away. Heading right into a pocket.
You'll have to turn here. We'll keep out of sight. We'll slow it down. you met Bruce. Well, we're looking for a certain bridle rein with some writing on it. We mean the one you're taking to the sheriff. Save your shot. She can't get away. Heading right into a pocket. Bradley, grab your horses. Let's get out of here. They got away with the evidence against Crawford. Oh, we've lost Rex, too. A couple of men held me up and took him from me. Were they Crawford's men? I don't think so. One of them was a foreigner. We must protect the gun horse until the butt tells what is done. That's why I brought that can of white paint. White paint? Sure. They'll be looking for a black horse, won't they? I think he's going to be all right. Let's get that car started. We might be able to trail him and it's a wreck. Oh, well, you're going to be all right. Sure. You're going to be okay. Not a chance with this flat tire. You start getting it out, Justin. I'll rush up to the road and put Rennie on Rex's trail. Come on, boy. I'll be right back. Take it, Rennie. Take it. Find Rex. that car, Parker. We'll have a white coat on him and a jiffy. Naga must hide the paper horse, the living symbol of our God. Now he's safe, and soon will be returned to Suzanne. There is no peace on the island until the God horse returns. Guard him with your life, O Pasha.
it's only watercolor. We'll wash it right off after he's on the boat. Guard him very carefully. I return with my belongings within one hour. Get that bridle rein? Here it is. They haven't anything on you, boss. Not now. But Bradley still has Rex. That's funny. We just saw Bradley. He was on foot. He must have left him at the Bruce stable. Get my horse saddled, quick. We'll take a ride over there and look around. my gun. I'd like to get my eyes on him. What's the horse? The gun horse. Is he safe? Sure, he's in there. Not the gun horse? Well, it must be. Well, he can't be far off. I'll go up the canyon. You head down through those trees. Arika!
Alika! Alika! Jones, flip over to Bruce's stables and see if Rex is there. I don't know. He seems to be in an awful hurry about something. All right, Rindy. I think I know what you mean. You stay here, Dorothy. I think he spotted Rex. Leading Brandon's the horse. Follow him, but keep under cover until you spot the stallion. Crawford's men, Reddy. We'll have to fool them. They're heading for that old bar. I'll bet that's where they got that black stallion. Mine, eh? I'll turn the car around. You get wrecked, we'll head for the dock. Don't move. Get him up and face that mine. All right, you can put him down now. Get wrecked, Freddy. You can't get away with this. No, you just stick around, you'll find out. That horse doesn't belong to you, he doesn't belong to anybody in this country. You... I'll break that dog! Help! He's 
Your mind, eh? I'll turn the car around. You get wrecked, we'll head for the dark. Don't move. Get him up and face that mine. All right, you can put him down now. Get wrecked, Freddy. You can't get away with this. No? You just stick around, you'll find out. That horse doesn't belong to you, he doesn't belong to anybody in this country. You... I'll break that dog! You would try to kill the second horse of Suzanne. My life was his. He tried to kill me. You will make the face worse than death if you harm the guard horse of my people. What's the meaning of this? This miserable creature agreed to help return our guard horse to the island. And now he tries to kill him. Well, if this horse is rightfully yours, you can rest assured he'll be turned over to you. I thank you, my friend. You are an honest man. My people will be ever grateful to you. How about my money? You got your horse back. You're perfect all right. Horse is all right, isn't he? 
You better go before we turn you over to the police. There are others who would like to get their hands on this valuable animal. Nice. That's why we're painting him white. Well, we better get him to the academy before Crawford's men get wise to it. Come on, boy. Bradley, all right, but I don't see the black stallion. Let's slip up and surprise him. You take my horse, I'll ride Rex. What's the matter, boy? Keep that dog back, Bradley. You don't want him killed. Hold back, Rennie. Come back here. Where's that black stallion? Where neither you nor Crawford will ever find him. Listen, smart guy. We saw you slipping out of that old mine. Keep him covered, Anderson. Come on, Martin. We'll go and get that stallion. Nice looking horse you're riding, Bradley. I'll make Bradley tell me where that horse is, or else. dog jumped me. But listen, I got a good look at Bradley's horse, and if that ain't Rex with some white paint dogged on him, I'll miss my guess. Get on your horse, quick. Pasha, head for those trees. You keep ahead of them. Ready? You go with the rest.
Sanderson. He must have spotted him. Drop those guns. Now, gentlemen, I want to give you a little message to take back to Crawford. A little practice, eh, Lewis? Yeah, I've been warming up for tomorrow's game. Boy, sharper left standing there? Not yet. Where's the standing? Bradley and Packer took him to Bruce Riding Academy. You mean that fellow from Sue, John? Yeah. And I got a hunch Bradley will help him to ship that horse back on the first boat to the island. Mm, well, that boat doesn't sail until Tuesday. Now, if we can get a hold of Patrick, we can stop him from putting that horse on the boat. You still got Bradley to handle. I figured that. But Mr. Bradley will be very busy doing that polo game tomorrow. Him to the hospital. Let's get him over the sidelines. I'll use my car. Give a hand here, McDonald. You better go along, McDonald. to you now. You know, Mr. Packer, I think this is about the easiest job I ever had, Garden Rex. Hey, Susan, they got horses, many guards. Listen, mister, you can't come in here. I'm an immigration inspector. Is your name Packer? May I see your passport? It is at my hotel. Is there something wrong? Plenty. You better come with me. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Inspector. I'll get Mr. Bradley. Please don't interfere with the law.
What's the matter, Rennie? Mr. Bradley! Mr. Bradley! A man came here and took Pasha away. Didn't he try to steal Rex? No, sir, but he sure sailed out of here with Pasha, and they drove that way. You keep your eye on Rex. If anybody tries to steal him, use your gun. You stay here, boy. What is the meaning of this? Mr. Crawford will explain everything. Oh, no, you don't. Get going, boss.
remember, Anise, quick! That finishes them, all right. There's Bradley's car. It'll be a fish to get that black stallion now. You'll have to take her back this way to head out. Pretty lucky, eh? Stop so fast. You're both covered. Get them up. All right, Pasha. It was this man who took me from the stables. Then he was in aggression, Inspector. He evidently wanted to get you out of the way so he could get the black stallion. Keep him covered, Pasha. I want you to take this note to Miss Dorothy. We've only got about two hours to get Rex on that boat. I'll meet you at the dock. Hurry and take Rennie with you. Go with Tasha, Rennie. Crawford's ranch, gentlemen, and I'll tell you exactly what to do as we drive along. Come on, get going. Jones and Foster ought to be back by now. Maybe that South Sea Islander gave them a little trouble. They've got Bradley. Wonder why they didn't bring that foreigner. Well, Bradley, we've been meddling again in affairs that don't concern you. Don't try any fast moves, Crawford. We couldn't help it, boss. He had us covered. Your plans to steal the sacred horse of Sujan has failed. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I can refresh your memory. Get over there. Two of your henchmen paid a visit to Tanaga, the high priest of Sujan. But your excellency, you have traveled all the way from America to buy some of your horses. In Sujan, we do not sell our horses. We are in a position to pay well. All the money in the world could not tempt us to part with a single one. Gentlemen, for countless ages, the horse has been held sacred by my people. You mean you worship horses? They are all sacred. We worship but one, the black Arabian stallion. A black Arabian? Do you doubt me? I can hardly blame you. There is no horse in the world like him. And failing to deal with Tanaga, your men resorted to trickery. They returned that night with an aide. There's the guard. Get ready. Is loco. Get your horse. He's after us. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. I know how to get that black shot. What are you going to do? Quick, we'll run around over this loop. I'll snag him. It's a lie. I had nothing to do with it. Maybe you can prove that to the sheriff. 
Get into that car. Get him, man! All right, fellas. Well, Mr. Bradley, we'll have to detain you while we round up your friend, uh, Pasha. Bradley just sent him to the academy stable to get that stallion down to the boat. Good. Tie him up and lock him in the storeroom. We can get to the academy before they leave. Make it snappy and I'll be turning the car around. No news yet? No, Miss Dorothy. Hey, looky. What is it, Pastor? What's happened? Get this letter. I'm taking the guard horse to the harbor. Hurry, Jensen. We have less than an hour to make the boat. You're not through, Rizzy. You'll have to take a note back to Frank. Here's the key, boss. Bradley's dog making a beeline for your place. He's carrying a piece of paper. I bet it's a note for Bradley. There he goes. Come on, we gotta step on it.
Hello? Jensen. Crawford's men are heading that way for Rex. Stall them. They can think Rex is hidden on the ranch. Understand? I see a car coming now. Okay. Too late. There's no one around. He's in the stable, all right. I'd know that squeal of his anywhere. They've locked him in. Get that post. tricks on us, eh? We still have time to stop him at the dock. Crawford's men from the top of that rise. They're about a mile back. Come on, Reddy.
Hurry, Pasha. Give me some help with this end gate. Quick. You're ready. Go away. Frank! Well, what happened? I grabbed that hogger as I fell. I almost threw my arms out. Marsha! What do you know about this? You must have seen someone firing and pushed me out of the way. There! Get the ship's doctor! Quick! Come off, Jim. I'm trusting you with the last request. Yes, Father. The God horse must return to his stable. You will father me. Of course I will. Raga. Raga. Oh, I praise to the God. My mission is now in the hands of a friend, Frank Bradley. He will deliver the cart horse into your hands. Pasha is dying. I am calling the vehicle. gave his life for mine. We must carry out his mission. Yes, Colonel. Cigar? Thanks. I phoned you, Willard, because I figured we could be of use to one another. Bradley's got the black stallion, and he's on his way to Sue John. What do you want me to do? You know your way around the island. You speak the language, don't you? Yes, but Bradley's already on his way, you say. He'll be there a week ahead of us. Sure, if we had to wait for the next boat. But we can take a plane to Honolulu, and a freighter to Manila. And according to the way I figure, another hop by plane, and we'll be in Sue John. That ought to be easy. We gotta beat Bradley to the high priest temple. Upon our land, Bolsonaga, our people demand that we take a new god horse. There is no god but the true god. Sujan will have none other in the living embodiment of Tao Kayang. But your people are becoming impatient. Go. Your words, the royal god, must instill that patience. What was the high priest's answer? Tanaga still insists that the god horse is on his way. 
We have waited too long for his return. Without him or another to take his place, a revolution is imminent. Kinto, commander of the Royal Guard, speaks widely. I told you we'd arrive a day ahead of Bradley. What's your plan? There's an old cavern just beyond those tall trees where a small group of natives hold secret meetings at night. You wait there while I get in touch with their leader. Did you bring the god horse? No, but I bring news which will help you accomplish your cherished desire. You mean... The office of high priest will be yours before the next moon. Bring your men to the old cavern tonight and I'll explain everything. And the evil white man, Bradley, has defiled your god horse by breaking him to a saddle. So you see, gentlemen, your god horse is contaminated. As commander of the royal guard, I take my oath to seek a new guard horse. It's a blood promise. The land must be purged of the stallions and another guard installed. Horses at the cargo. Call out the Royal Guard. Guard, mount. Guard, go to meet the guard horse. We must follow at a distance. Sahib Bradley? Why, yes. My orders are to conduct you immediately to Tanaga at the sacred temple. But, uh, but Rex the God Horse is... The Royal Guard will escort him safely to the sacred stable. to wait here until the Royal Guard returns.
Welcome, my friend. The departed Pasha has informed me of the great service you have rendered for my people. I shall never be able to repay the debt I owe your countrymen for saving my life. If we had known the true origin of the Black Stallion, we would have returned him at once. I believe there is a saying in your language. All is well that ends well. Hola! Hola, Maka! How is this going to help us? Patience, my friend. As soon as Tanaga's men are overpowered, the god horse will be led away. Where are they taking the horse? To the forest altar for the sacrifice. But Deboer will see to it that the horse is delivered to you as promised. Remember, the horse is of no value to me if anything happens to him. Nothing will happen to him. Come. My friend, you have really bestowed a great blessing upon my people. Our love for horses is as great as yours, Tanaga. The God Horse! The God Horse! Kinzo, take him to the forest altar. The sacrifice. What do you mean? Some of my misguided subjects want to replace the God Horse with another. You stay here with Randy. I'll try and save Ray. This is dangerous. Tom, the alarm. In that trail. Let's go around this way. Huh. If the black stallion comes through the fire unharmed, he will be purged of his defilement. If he dies, also Jean will know that he is no longer the living embodiment of Kao Kiang. A new god horse will take his place. Taking the gun horse up that trail. The men with the gun horse, have you seen them? The trail ahead. Nice work, dear boy. Now show us to the forest altar before it's too late.
God horn. The God horn. Tinso, take him to the forest altar. Sacrifice. What do you mean? Some of my misguided subjects want to replace the God horse with another. He's staying with Randy. I'll try and save Ray. It's a dangerous. Sound the alarm. and strength to his arm, for his heart is clean. Maybe we can help. At least we can try. May thy mantle of protection rest upon those who rise to save thee from desecration. Be careful. There's a tiger pit in that trail. We have to go around this way. the way to the forest altar. This trail leads to the temple. It's Bradley. We must have heard about Rex. Quick, dear boy. Tell him they're taking the god horse up that trail. The men with the god horse, have you seen them? The trail ahead. Nice work, dear boy. Now show us to the forest altar before it's too late. Just shaking up a bit, I guess. The horse just clipped the edge of that pit and saw with me. What's that? Ceremonial drum. That means the sacrifice of Rex on the altar of fire. Well, we can't let them go on with it, Frank. We've got to stop them. There still may be a chance. You've got to. The ceremony has started. What is written is written. The fate of the god horse is sealed. If the black stallion comes through the fire unharmed, he will be purged of his defilement. If he dies, all Sujan will know that he is no longer the living embodiment of Kao Kyung. A new god horse will take his place. Five thousand miles for that stallion. I intend to have him. We paid you to help us, and you're going to do it. But I dare not try to take the god horse from the fire. Then get rid of your men, and we'll do it. And remember, if you turn your men against us, we can reach you from a long way off. I will try. We better hide out in case he double crosses us. All right. 
before they see us. There's still a chance to save Rex. You wait here. Come on, Randy. What were they trying to do to you, old boy? You better thank your pal Reddy for saving your life. Only one thing left for us to do. Wait! You might hit the horse. You better stick to the jungle and get him by surprise. That was a narrow escape. The next question is, how do we turn it to his people as their god? They might believe it's a miracle his coming safely through the fire. That's a swell idea. We'll even hit in this thick jungle growth and go tell Tanaga to spread the news. Looks like they're up to something. You stay here and watch Rex, Rennie. Your reign as high priest of the people is at an end. Your god horse was unable to survive the test, Tanaga. He perished in the flames like any other horse. You have killed the mortal body of a horse. It was his eternal spirit that we have worshipped. And that you cannot kill. Seize him and strip him of his robe of office. Stop! Stop before it is too late. I bring news of the God Horse. The fire has burned into ashes, and the God Horse lives unscathed by the flames. It's a lie! It is no lie. He stood the test of the fire, and deep in the jungle is awaiting his loyal subjects. Are you one of them, or will you risk his vengeance? We shall not go. It's some infidel trick to lead us to our undoing. You come with me, or would you rather I make my appeal direct to the people themselves? If my words are true, what would be your fate at their hands for defiling their god? Remain here till we learn the truth. Lead me to the god horse. But if you've lied, your life is forfeit. Is that understood? That suits me. Is everything all right? Work like a charm. You wait here. Here, Randy! Randy! Here, Randy! Rennie! Is there something wrong? Oh, I left the god horse here. He was tied to that tree. I warned you, your life would be forfeit for this. Who 
we're not the only white men on this island. Which way do you go, Rennie? Quick! A stranger stolen the god horse, but the dog will lead us to him. Not so fast, my friend. Patai na! Patai na! Kangeli Bako! Foot! I'd like to see Bradley's face when he finds out we've got this horse. Any chance of missing that boat? Not a chance. I fixed it with the captain. He won't pull anchor until we got this horse safe aboard. It's Bradley and his dog. They're trailing us. What'll we do? Head for that ledge. We'll stand them off. Turn that horse over while you can. We're going to take that horse back to the state, Bradley, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's on the horse. It's a miracle. They'll get us alive if they get us. Don't forget we got the black stallion. Better give up the horse, Crawford. I'll try to save your life through their teeth. Tell those devils we'll kill their god horse if they try to take us. All right, Rennie. Get him, boy. Get him. of life. Strange as it remains for you, unbelievers, to have reinstated our God horse in the hearts of the people. I don't like to think of going back home without him. We've all grown to love him so. The people of Sushan understand and have made you a gift to take his place in your heart. The firstborn of our God's heart. To be a daily reminder of the friends you have lost. Thanks. How can we ever thank you, Tanaga? Oh, you little darling. <laughs> oh, Frank, isn't he the cutest thing you've ever seen? He's certainly going to be a beauty. Aren't you glad we're taking him back with us? <laughs> Am I? He's just like Rex. Oh! 